Hey, what's up you guys? All here, and I know I haven't uploaded in a few weeks, but like a lot of you, I've been stuck in sort of a cycle of exams for the past two weeks, and that's sort of what I want to talk about today. Chemistry exams are the worst, and I'm sure a lot of you have experienced that and maybe are currently experiencing that right now. And so I just sort of want to wish you luck on your finals if you haven't taken them yet, and, you know, wish you luck on getting your grades back if you've already gone through your chemistry finals in the last week or two. Also, a bit later on in the video, I'm going to talk about all the types of chem exams I've taken in each class and sort of what style the exams were in, how difficult they were, so stick around for that. That's sort of just what I want to talk about in this video, um, about maybe going easy on yourself for chemistry finals. I know a lot of us as STEM and as chemistry majors push as hard as we can and we love the subject and love learning about chemistry, but we don't remember how hard of a major chemistry can be from the combination of theory and concepts, memorization, high level math and all. It all combines into a really hard major and really tough exams because None of these chemistry exams are usually just spouting information back out, and a lot of them require some intense problem-solving skills and taking everything you've learned all semester and having it condensed into an exam where you have to figure out new types of problems and new types of answers you haven't seen before. And that's really difficult, and it takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of knowledge and smarts and all to do, and so even Maybe if you don't get the grades you want on your exams, or you feel like you did terribly, or maybe you even bombed a chem class, I want you to go easy on yourself. There are thousands of PhDs and people in the past who have totally bombed chem exams, and you know what? They've still gone to grad school. They've still gotten jobs in chemistry. And so after this final season, and after you've taken all your chemistry exams, just remember it's not everything, it's just an exam, and go easy on yourself. Chemistry is a really, really hard major. That being said, I kind of want to talk about the types of chemistry exams I've taken in the past, and, you know, how they sort of fit in to all the types of chemistry. My first exams, of course, for a lot of people, are the general chemistry type exams, and these exams, although they were tough, they were honestly not too bad. They usually just had like a theory section and then the problem solving. And the problem solving, usually if you knew the equations or you're given the equation sheet and you studied well, the problem solving that you do in it, a lot of it has like unit conversions and all, and you can get it down pretty nicely. So honestly, gen chem exams weren't too bad for me. The next were organic chemistries the 1 and 2, which both had pretty similar exam types in my mind, and I know organic chemistry killed a lot of people, but I thrived in organic chemistry, absolutely loved it. I aced all my OCHEM 1 exams and did really well in OCHEM 2. They were just sort of, so sort of fun exams. OCHEM always felt like puzzle solving and detective work to me because you knew your starting materials or what reaction was going on and you had to figure out what would happen to whatever given molecule and I just thought that was a lot of fun. On top of that, the spatial aspect of chirality was really cool to me and uh, I loved trying to picture the molecules in my mind and shift them to see how uh, something would attack another uh, molecule. So, OCHEM, for some people, a lot of people who uh, prefer more of the math, si math side and not as much as the spatial side, they can't stand OCHEM. Um, OCHEM is real killer for a lot of people. Me, personally, it fit in really well with how I think and like the sort of chemistry I like, so I really enjoyed it. The next type, uh, biochemistry. Biochemistry has to be my least favorite type of chemistry I've taken and chemistry exam I've taken. It felt much more like the brute force memorization and just theoretical stuff than actual chemistry for me. I don't know if any of you have had different experiences with your biochemistry classes. I personally didn't really like the material. I also wasn't a big fan of the professor, so this class didn't click and the exams really just felt like 
brute force memorization of certain things or pathways and all, which I didn't really like as much. Um, the next type, inorganic chemistry, which is interesting, very difficult. I sort of liked it for the same reasons I looked uh, organic chemistry, where you still have the spatial stuff, but it's completely different. A lot of the stuff you learned in organic chemistry just doesn't apply to stuff in inorganic chemistry. And learning about group theory and the symmetry and all of inorganic ligand complexes was really neat. And although it was difficult, I did enjoy it and I did enjoy a lot of the chemistry that came with it. Uh, after that is PCHEM, uh, actual nightmare course. Uh, PCHEM, super, super difficult. The exams, PCHEM is basically a math class that you have to take. Uh, it's basically just a math and physics class you have to take as a chemistry major. And I actually really like quantum mechanics. I think a lot of the stuff in it is really cool. But depending on the professor, depending on the exam, depending on the class, and even still, PCHEM is an extremely difficult class. And the math and problem solving you have to do in it is a lot different than most of what the chemistry major has prepared you for. So be prepared, be strong on your math going into it because it's already a really difficult class and if you don't know your multivariable or even just calc 2 and all, it'll be really hard going into it. After that, some of the electives or smaller chemistry classes I've taken, the uh, analytical chem class I took, exams weren't too bad. A lot of it did feel like memorization with some of the problem solving and the problem solving really seemed to be sort of like more on the gen chem side of problem solving than the o chem or p chem side where you sort of have the equations and have to memorize a lot of stuff. But it is really interesting to see all the machinery that makes chemists life go round and how it all works and the type of like spectroscopy and all you can do. So analytical chemistry is a uh, really interesting. Um, next elective, organic synthesis, which I know isn't a class that's offered at a lot of places, but this is just a synthetic organic chemistry class, so you're basically doing what you would do if you were an actual organic chemist out in the wild and making actual syntheses. Really, really cool class. Very tough. Uh, you had to learn uh, a lot of reactions, and a lot of it was making really complex chiral molecules that are used in like medicine and all. And so we'd get exams that would give us a molecule we were trying to make, and we had to use uh, basically some from a base set of starting materials and figure out how to make this insanely complex starting molecule from like base stuff you can buy off Sigma Aldrich. Really neat class, really neat style of exams. The exams weren't even like in-class exams because no one would be able to do that in an hour. We were given a week to do them, and we just had to turn in our synthesis at the end. Really cool class. I loved it. I learned a whole lot in it. Very difficult exams, though. So overall, that should maybe give you a sense of the types of exams and the classes. Maybe you had different types of exams if you've taken these classes. I would love to hear uh, like what your worst chemistry exam stories are, because I've had some pretty bad ones, and it's always entertaining to hear. And, you know, if you haven't taken these classes, maybe that will give you some insight onto what to expect when you're taking exams in the future. But uh, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you did great on your finals or any chem exams you have in the future. Bye-bye.